for Jesus. Let's clap for him. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's give him a wonderful clap. We're not coming for man. We're not coming for pastor. We're giving the clap to the people of Jesus and the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you the glory and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We lift your name. Thank you very much. 
and also want to appreciate our pastor and mommy pastor. Let's clap for them too. We are not clapping, we no, no more sermon to do. <laughs> Let's clap and receive them. May the Lord continue to bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, our theme for the month is the goodness of God. How many of you have enjoyed and appreciated the sermon from last week? May God continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, our theme for the month is the goodness of God. And many of us are experiencing the goodness of God. And we will continue to experience that goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So the topic for today is the goodness of God, the favor of God. The goodness of God, the favor of God. Say favor. favor. When the Holy Spirit told me that, I said, ah, I don't preach this sermon before. But you know, when there is God, there is a deeper revelation of what you think you know. The goodness of God, the favor of God. And we look at our theme text, first is um, Psalms 34 verse 8, Psalms 34 verse 8, Psalms 34 verse 8, Psalms 34 verse 8 says, O taste and see, that the Lord is what? Is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. The next one is Nahum 1 7. Many of us don't go there. One of the minor prophets. Nahum 1 7. Me myself, let me get there. Nahum one seven. He says, The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Tell anybody the Lord is good. The Lord is good. You're not seeing The Lord is good. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. So if he knows them that trust in him, he knows them that do not want to trust in him. And of course, the last one is Genesis 39, 1 to 6. Genesis 39. 1 to 6, Genesis 39, 1 to 6, Genesis 39, almost there, 1 to 6. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which he had brought him down to them. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. May you be prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. May your description be prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Verse 3. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. People, that, people will see that God is with you. Amen. People will see that God is with you. Amen. Say the Lord is with me. Amen. Say with conviction, the Lord is with me. Amen. His master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. From now on, things will not fail in your hands. Amen. From now on, things will not die in your hands. Amen. From now on, business will move in your hands. Amen. From now on, money will meet money in your hands. Amen. Those things that have died before we resurrect in Jesus' name. Amen. God blessed him so much that anything that Joseph did prosper. And that is the Old Testament. So if you are living in the new age, you know that God wants you to what? Prosper. May you prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 5. And it came to pass from that, from the one time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for who? The Lord blessed the Egyptian house for who? Where business you are in, that house you are in, the Lord will be blessed because of you. Amen. That city you are in, that neighborhood you are in, the Lord will bless that neighborhood because of you. Amen. So they know that there's a presence of God that calls for the goodness of God and the favor of God. That man bought not, he didn't only buy Joseph with money, he bought goodness. He bought favor into his family. May you bring good into your family in Jesus' name. They know some people can cause us, some people can cause this favor. May God bring us across you that will give us favor. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And you know the blessing, Proverbs 10, 22. It says the blessing of the Lord, the what? It make it rich and has no sorrow. Jeremy 28, I think verse 6. He said the Lord will command the blessing on your hands. He will command the blessing on your storehouses. He will command the blessing in the foot of your body. May God command blessings on you in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 6. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hands. And he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person. And well what? Read that last part to me. And Joseph was what? Well, well, well. And well what? Well, well. Say favor. favor. 
Say favor. Say favor. Say favor. May that come upon you and me afresh in Jesus' name. Amen. When you talk about the goodness of God, you are talking about the favor of God. You can't describe the goodness of God without the favor of God. When you talk about the glory of God, it's the combination of the goodness of God, the presence of God, the power of God. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So when we take a look at the goodness of God, it has favor written over it. The glory of God is the goodness of God. Look at Exodus 33, verse 19. We are going to open some scriptures today. Exodus 33, verse 19. Exodus 33, verse 19. Let's read together. One, two, ready, go. Exodus 33, 19. Okay, let me from there. And he said, I will make what? Let's start again from the top. One, two, ready, go. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass. And I will what? And we what? And what will I do? So when you hear the goodness of God, you will hear the favor of God and you hear the mercy of God. Psalm 102 verse 13. He said, shall arise and have mercy upon Victor who was in Jacob. The time to favor him. Yea, what? What was mentioned in that scripture? The set time. Mercy was mentioned before favor. May the mercy of God speak for you and me. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So in the glory of God, is the favor of God, is the goodness of God, and the power of God. Look at Exodus 33, 14 to 15. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And verse 15, he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, don't take me along. Continue. What is enjoy the glory of God, the goodness of God, and the power of God. So now, what is favor? What is customary? Tell me, what is favor? Anybody? What is favor? Let's turn in mini Bible study. What is favor? What is favor? Help from the Lord. Yes, sir. Somebody gives you money. Somebody gives you money. I like that. Okay. I like that. When somebody gives you money, what is that? Someone says, you know, money is a universal gift. How do you know that? No matter what you like, somebody gives you money. What is that? That's favor. I like that definition. So, what is favor? <laughs> Favor determines the limit of your destiny. If you are going further in the destiny that God has for you, you are going further in favor. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are going further in your destiny, you are going further in where? May God help you and me to fulfill destiny. Amen. You are not saying amen to conviction. May God help you and me to fulfill destiny. Amen. Favor removes a lifetime of labor. <laughs> Isaac woke up. I met his wife. How many of you know that? Yeah. What did Jacob do? What did Jacob do? He struggled for 14 years. When you have the favor of God, labor is what? It's removed. Give me Isaiah 61 7 quickly. Isaiah 61 7. Isaiah 61 7. I want us to read it together. Favor removes a lifetime of labor. <coughs> want to go? Let's go. Let's go. I want to go. For your shame, you shall have what? Amen. Say amen. amen. For your shame, you shall have double. Amen. For my own shame, I have triple. Amen. Thank you very much. Say amen. amen. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the triple. Everlasting joy shall be unto shame. So when you have the favor of God, favor removes labor. You are not due for promotion, but you are promoted because of what? Amen. Favor. With favor, you learn on the job. Favor qualifies the unqualified. That's favor. May God give you and me favor in Jesus' name. Amen. If all that you get is by your struggle, there is a problem. Because you can't fulfill all that God has for you without favor. You need favor to grow in life. What is favor again? Favor is divine endorsement. Say divine endorsement. Divine. Say it's confused. Say divine endorsement. divine endorsement. You know, if you write a book, you can sell maybe 500 copies. You say, friend, buy my book. If Oprah brings you to a TV show, that means she's a TV show, and she recommends you in a magazine, your book will sell more. Why? Why? Endorsement. When you have favor, favor is divine endorsement. I was in camp, is it December? I went for Congress, and I went for the PSA meeting, and I sat down. And Pastor Leke Adeboe was talking to the workers. Now, the workers of PSF, they're more than this church. <laughs> The God of in Jesus' name. You grow in Jesus' name. Yeah. After he finished, he said, Show, come, come and pray. What was that? Favor. In my wonders, I can't carry my passage down to something. But when you have the favor of God, the favor of God endorses you. 
So when somebody has people, somebody higher endorses them. I'm putting my stamp on them, approve them. May God endorse you in Jesus' name. Yeah. That amen is too late. May God endorse you and me in Jesus' name. So when you have favor, so you can say, give me a job on my own time. You, do you know that not everybody gets a, that gets a job goes through the interview process? Yeah. Brethren, I've seen it in, I'm not in Nigeria. Yeah. They know the manager. The manager says, come. Come and do it. Come. Just, for ceremony, they'll just ask him a question. How are you? How are you doing? No, we are fine. As everything going, they'll go and, they'll go and eat. They say, come tomorrow. We send your email. You are posting the job. From now on, may favor remove labor. May favor remove toiling. In Jesus' name. Many people have, have toiled too much. See, it's not good to toil. When you toil a lot, it's, it's painful. Give me Psalm 127. Is it that scripture? Psalm 127 or Psalm 126? Psalm 127, quickly. Psalm 127. He says, Except the Lord build the house. What happened? The labor event that built it. Except the Lord keep the city. The watchman what? It is vain for you to rise up what? And to sit up what? And to eat what? For so he gives his beloved sleep. When God gives you favor, he takes away every hurdle in your way. Every impediment in your way. May God put a divine endorsement on you and me in Jesus' name. Yeah. What is favor? Favor is when God smiles on you. When you have the favor of God, God is smiling at you. I know when God is smiling at you, but I also smiling too. From now, you continue to smile in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's why it's not good to frown. When you frown, you give the wrong message. You know, if I'm in front of you, you want to frown, I can't frown for you. <laughs> but when you have the favor of God, God puts a smile on your face because God is smiling at you. From now, God will smile at you in Jesus' name. Amen. From now, God will laugh at you in Jesus' name. You know, Jesus is a, is a man and a woman of laughter. So I want you to laugh, laugh. You are not laughing. What is that? Laugh! Shatter laughter. God will help us in Jesus' name. It is God's way for you. Faithful is God's way for you. It is preferential treatment at his highest. Preferential treatment, do it. At his highest. Sorry, I'm giving you an example. I went to a meeting. A big meeting, and there's a place where they park. You know, when you are the favor of God, you have the closest parking to the door. How many of you know that? That's favor. Instead of you walking five miles, you park at the back. What do you have? Close. So we got there. The man said that you don't have access to this place. This place are for big pastors. I said, sir, I won't enter. As we were discussing with the man, one of his ladies, the ladies that they put the barrier, I just drove him. So the man started arguing with the guy that they asked you to pull it. Did I send you a message to pull it? This boy does not have the qualification to what? I don't enter with that. I've already what? When you have the fear of God, God removes the barrier from your way. God removes the impediment from your way. I was not qualified to be there, but what? I was there. Favor. <laughs> May God give us favor in Jesus' name. Amen. The favor of God is the goodness of God. Ask Joseph. Genesis 39 4. We read that. The Israelites had favor. Give me Exodus 12 36. Exodus 12 36. Favor help you to recover all that you have lost. You will need restoration. That's the law of God. And that law will apply to you and me in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read together. Once we go. And the Lord gave Shotekub a what? Favor in the sight of the Egyptians, in the sight of his bosses, in the sight of everybody. So that they lent unto him what? As I require, all those things you require, God will give it to you in Jesus' name. The money you need, the favor you need, the open door that you need, God will give it unto you and me in Jesus' name. That is the favor of God. So when you are walking in the goodness of God, you are what? You are walking in the favor of God. See, favor is very visible. People can see when you are wearing it. When you are wearing favor, it is very what? Give me Psalm 5 verse 12. Psalms 5 verse 12. I don't want to point you, I want you to put your eyes on it. Psalms 5, verse 12. Quickly, please. For thou, Lord, we bless your Tekobo. With what? And will thou compass him as what? With a shield. When you wear favor, it is very visible. It is very obvious that you have the favor of God. Favor is the unique hand of God. Favor is the face of God. It is an extension of the God life. So if you want to enjoy the God life on earth, you need what? Give me number 6, 24, 26. Number 6, 
24 to 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Amen. That event is very small. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon me. And be gracious unto thee. <laughs> they are praying for yourself. Now. The Lord lift up his countenance upon Shion and give him peace. And they shall put Shion's name upon the children of Israel. And I will bless Shion and his family. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you are the favor of God, you have the face of God. You behold God in his glory. And the glory of God radiates on the earth. So you experience favor. From now on, favor will come and we announce you in Jesus' name. Amen. Favor makes you extraordinary. If I go and get a haircut, if I even take my barber, and I'm being generous, I can give her 40 or 50 dollars. Let me know that. Do you know the barber from LeBron James? We don't collect 50 dollars. <laughs> if you don't know the just Google it. Do you know a tailor can sew a clothes? Maybe collect $200. The tailor for the governor of Lagos State will not collect $200. So favor makes the ordinary extraordinary. The mechanic for the presidency of the United States will not collect $2,000 for repair or maintenance of that car that the guy drives, the beast. Because there's what? There are levels. There's favor. So favor makes ordinary what? The tailor that will make the suit for a well-known actor will not collect $200. Buy $3 for... <laughs> buy two for $100. Buy three... No, 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 no. Because they are what? The shoe, the people that make shoes. You are getting the level I'm saying. The God can put you on the point where your, your command fee... Oh, God. is higher than some people's salary. I see that. Eh? I see that. The people that make glasses, please don't think that you have to be one expert. One... one one expatriate, you can be making wig for somebody, but the person you are making wig for, the person's head is very, is very sound. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus' name. You can be making shirts. The one guy that makes shirts for me, he makes it for the person. The, the, the customers he has, he just makes shirts. I know the idea he had. He will embroider your logo on the shirt. You put your logo, you put your logo on the Anything you want to do, he will do it for you. That man is making money. Pastor Nikkei even actually said, he said, this is the man that I use. Now, this guy is not going to be collecting 5,000 naira. <laughs> when God gives you favor, the ordinary becomes what? The ordinary becomes what? The ordinary becomes what? May the favor of God announce you in Jesus' name. May the favor of God open doors for you in Jesus' name. That is the favor of God. You do have to, you can be selling pepper. But the pepper you are selling, you people are selling pepper to is not small people. You can be grinding pepper, you can be carrying tire on your head. But the tire you are carrying for somebody that is better than ordinary people. The customers are not pricing it. Eh, how much? How much last What's your problem? Ah, it's not this small, small thing. No, no, no. They don't, you don't price. They, you give them amount. You can be a photographer. They're doing photographers. How many know that? <laughs> May God announce you in Jesus' name. May God make you a needy, what was it, a needed person in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the favor of God. That is the favor of God. That is the favor of God. And God wants you to start experiencing this. Because that is the God life. You can be in your house and somebody sends you an alert. You don't have to run outside and be fetching and be begging for money, for money to come to you. From now on, money will come to you in droves. Oh, that email is very small. Yeah. If you are sure, money will come to you, trust in Jesus' name. Yeah. Remember in Ephesians 3, when you say, I have not seen. He has gone ahead. What God has prepared for you and me. If you are expressing money, you are not seeing anything yet. Yes. Oh, Lord, may God bless you and increase you in Jesus' yeah. name. That is the favor of God. God will just give you an opportunity to meet with great people. Amen. You get an opportunity to do great things. He will announce you himself. So of us, like, like Esther, when the king was restless, he told the servant, he said, open the hours of the records. Let me hear some things. I'm, I can't sleep. From now on, the people that we have will not sleep. Amen. Your destiny and will not sleep again. Amen. They will be awake until they help you. Amen. They will be restless until they help you. Amen. He said, open it, let me hear some things. And he said, Monica saved you from an attack. He said, what did you do for him? He said, you did nothing. And he said, please, who is in the veranda? He said, it's Hagar. He said, hey man. He said, hey man, what should I do for someone that has helped me? He said, let him be on the, your most, your royal horse. This and that. He said, go and do that for who? And who was going to come to Haman? 
may your enemy serve you. Amen. May your enemy serve you in Jesus' name. Amen. That is what it means to enjoy the favor of God. Amen. Where those who are harassing you have been harassed. Amen. Where those who are contending, God is contending with them. Amen. That is the favor of God. Yes, and I pray that prayer every day because I need favor. I don't need favor. Read your hand. May the favor of God come of you on you like a cloak. Amen. May it surround you like a shield Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And there's favor in varying degrees. I can use that as a headline. There's economy. Am I right? Yeah. There's business class. Yeah. There's first class. <laughs> now there are different airlines too. If you fly Delta, it's different. If you fly Etihad, it's different. How many of you know that? The first class of Etihad is there for first class of Delta. You don't know that. There's some first class you can bath. You can sleep. Ah, there's only first class you don't. <laughs> May God give you the highest form of favor. In the highest class in Jesus' name. That is, and there's not what I call private jets. Mm. No, there's different kinds of private jets. Yes, there's the small one. Mm. There's the one that you. <laughs> you look at those studies now because when the thing comes, you go, you go enter. <laughs> there, there, there are those that can only fly maybe from Georgia to Texas, from Texas to New York. There are some that can fly from maybe New York to California. There are some that can fly from Atlanta to Lagos, non stop. Yeah. There are some that can fly from New York to Tokyo, non stop. There are some that have big cabins, small cabins. May God give you the best in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the favor of God. Yes. The favor of God is the good life. Yes. I want to enjoy the good life. Yes. Father, say it. Say, Father. Father. I start enjoying good life. Say now, I start enjoying good life. I start enjoying the good life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We do not experience favor on the same level. We do not. Favor is divine endorsement. As I've said before, most people are born at the disadvantage. The family you are born into, the area you are born into, the territory you are born into. But when you are the favor of God, He puts you on power with you when you are born in the best places. You may not be born with a silver spoon, or golden spoon, or wooden spoon, or any spoon at all. But when the God of grace puts favor on you, oh God, you are the biggest spoon. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Favor does not only level the playing field, it puts you in the realm of God where the heavens are always open. We are sent to the throne of God by favor. Revelations 4 1 to 2, quickly. Revelations 4 1 to 2. Revelations 4 1 to 2. Quickly. For after this I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was at the square of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up higher, come up here. And I will show you the things which you must be hereafter. You know that favor helps you to ascend. Favor is the way to the top. Psalm 103. I start read at this verse 1. When you look at verse 4, favor is the way to the top. And of course, favor is the fullness and the goodness of God. You can talk about favor and favor all the way. So, how do you know that you are experiencing favor? How do you know you are experiencing favor? There's favor with God and favor with man. Give me Luke 2 52. Luke 252. It's a different dimension. So if you're talking about favor, there's favor with God and what? Yeah. If you have favor with God and don't have favor with man, there's a problem. If you have favor with man and don't have favor with God, there's also a problem. You must have favor with God and have what? Favor with man. Luke 252 says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and what? In favor with who? God and man. In favor with who? God and man. You look at favor with God. Look at Genesis 6 8. Genesis 6 8. Genesis 6 8. You can see there that Noah found favor in God. Genesis 6 8. That's favor with God. But Noah found what? Grace. If you look at the Lord's grace, favor. In the eyes of the Lord, you need favor with God. You need favor with God. It causes you to be spared while others are falling. When Noah found favor, when everybody died, he was still alive. His wife was alive. His children was alive. And the animals that came were what? Because of the favor with. But when you have favor with man, you will get increase in money. Increase in it. If God says you're blessed, will God drop dollars on heaven? No. God tells you now, you are blessed. You shout, Amen! We will coin start falling from heaven. We go start falling from heaven. What will God do? He will prompt somebody to water and say, What? Give that person. May God give you big things in Jesus' name. Amen. I was watching Bishop Ridicule. This was 2008. He said, One man came to him. He said, Sir. 
I've not been giving you money for lunch. He said, from now on, so I want to give you lunch money of $5,000 every day or so. <laughs> there are levels to this thing, my brothers and sisters. There are what? See, as a pastor, there are different honorariums. I was also a man of God, a big man of God. If I mention his name, you will know him. He told me that he went to England. He said he didn't leave his house. He did it, what? Via Zoom or what is this? Um, online. He said they wanted him 30,000 pounds. <laughs> you are looking at me. The people are here. They are following these things. They are. He said it from his, he didn't, he didn't carry it in. He said from his house, from his basement. He said he preached. And he told, he said, Shem, ah. When I was talking to my woman, I said, oh God, please, <laughs> push me on this level or higher. <laughs> 30, is it 30 or 35,000 pounds? Straight. May God give you favor with man in Jesus' name. May you have favor with God in Jesus' name. They are very important. If you say, I don't need man, you are, you are, you are, God even needs man. God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. God needs man. God is always looking for someone to use. The man or woman that God uses. So, if you say you don't need man, you are, you are lying. Because God himself needs what? He needs man. May God put in the heart of men and women to favor you. Amen. This is what we call destiny helpers. Who is a destiny helper? So that has come to help your destiny. Let us put it that way. So that has come to help you to move forward. May God send you destiny helpers. Amen. You know when you have the favor of God, when you are absent, the person that will defend you is your present. Yeah. When you are absent, the person that will speak on your behalf is what? May those who will speak on your behalf be present in Jesus' name. May those who will announce you be present in Jesus' name. How did Esther get favor? The servant, Jesus servant, said, my king likes, he likes oil. There's an oil that, that you must have on your body. There's an oil that you must rub on your body. For you to have favor with the king. You know it was a contest. Esther was not the only virgin in the land. Let me you know that. She was not the finest virgin in the land. There were other women that were contending for the heart of the king. But that man knew what the king liked. This perfume, this oil, the king likes the smell. Start rubbing it on your body for one year. Give me Esther 2.15, please. Esther 2.15. Quickly. Esther 2.15. Esther 2.15. Now, when the thought of Esther, this is our own time to display now, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go into the, unto the king. She required nothing but what? Hey, guy, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, <laughs> appointed and Esther ordained, obtained favor what? In the sight of all of them that looked upon her. That chamberlain told Esther the secret to winning the contest. So when you have the favor of God, you have the secret. You have the juice. You have what it takes to be a winner. They are giving an example. You already know the answer. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to receive with me? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You are still here. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. How do you know you are expressing favor? Number one, your sitting changes. Ephesians 2 6. Your sitting changes. The people you are around changes. Ephesians 2 6. Quickly. Mm. And he had what? Raised us up to get our middle foot. To sit. To what? To sit together in heavenly places. In what? May the people that surround you change. Amen. You know, they say that for us to get your salary, we don't have to get five of your friends. If you have any or four, we divide it. That's your salary. <laughs> See, the higher you mix with the big and the best people, the higher you go. You can't mix with eagles and be a chicken. You cannot. So when God gives you favor, he changes your friends. You don't have the same friends. You have better friends. I had a rich man, one Igbo man from Anambra State. He said, I work hard for my money. I said, yes, sir. He was speaking. But he said, one man came to him and the man said, Sir, teach me how, how you are doing it. And he said he was very <laughs> concerned that who are you? I don't know you. So one day, the man, after he came back, came back, was very consistent. The man took him under his wings. That's the rich man, the mortal billionaire man. And the man had an opportunity to provide, is it petrol for is it Julius Beggar? Because that's the other company in Nigeria. Julius Beggar. Yeah. So this man said, you know what? 
Since you are my boy, he said, I will give you, he said, I don't know how much to give him. A large amount of money. He said, when you are ready, return it back. When you have no need to sell anything, no need to, no need interest, nothing. The man did his job, he did it and he made billions. Who made billions? The underling. He made what? Billions. He said, I'm so happy that I'm part of this boy's success. I just laughed. The favor of God connected that boy to the billionaire. He didn't have to go to the bank to collect money. He didn't have to go to the bank to collect loan. And now that same man is what? A multi-billionaire. In the same class as his boss. The person you mix with will determine how far you go. You have to be picky about your friends. So when you have the favor of God, your sitting changes. Number two, your location changes. Ephesians 1, 21 a. Your location changes. Because of time, we're going to move fast. Your location changes. He said, far above. Far above all principalities and power. Far above. Your location changes. Number three, how do you know when you are experiencing favor? You will not operate under the spirit of error. Tell me about the spirit of error. When people just make mistakes anyhow. I was talking to a friend, a former co-worker. He asked me, he said, ah, he said, he sent me a letter. He said he just got laid off. Ah, I said, well, sorry. I said, okay, oh, I'm fine. I know he has a second job. He, I mean, anytime he posts on WhatsApp, he always showing that he's in second job. So when we're talking, I said, at least, after we, I said, at least you have a second job, at least that one can help you to what? To hold body. He said he quit that second job two weeks ago. Ah. <laughs> job in Microsoft. I said, why? Are you shouted? He said, hey, you wanted to focus on this one. Ah. I said, <laughs> oh boy. He said he quit the job so he can focus what? But the one he wanted to focus on it. <laughs> they let him off. That is what I call what? Spirit of error. Making stupid mistakes. <clears throat> Microsoft. I mean, just, it is well. I have to just tell him, the Lord comforts you, the Lord bless you, the Lord, you know how also give glory, the Lord increase you, you will testify very soon in Jesus' name. Amen. But this man had a job with what? He said he, want, he quit the job. I told him, he said no, that he actually quit it. So that he can focus on this one that did not leave him off. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of error. Bad, stupid decisions, but give me for using that word. Look at Gehazi. He had the opportunity to have a triple portion of the anointing. But he was chasing useless money that you have gotten. When you are calling Elisha, my father, a king calling a pastor a father, you know the man is carrying something. My father, my father, if he is like the president of the United States, come to a pastor's house and he says, Sir, daddy, you know that man of God is carrying something higher than what the king is carrying. Spirit of error. Saul, carrying the spirit of error. That is flowed in his tribe. Mm. Judas, even Peter, God saved him. When you have the favor of God, he counsels the spirit of error. He's someone who can't date you. Like, why are you dating this person? Like, are you. <laughs> I mean, even a blind person would say, this person is mad. May God help us in Jesus' name. Spirit of error. They will be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Making decision of position that will not help their destiny. So when you have the favor of God, he counsels the spirit of error. Say, Father, Father. take away the spirit of error. Pray now. Say, Father, every mistake, every error. Spending money when I'm supposed to spend money. Doing this when I'm not supposed to do them. Going to places where I should not go. Cancel it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Stand up for 30 seconds. Pray, pray that prayer with conviction. Say, Father, every spirit of error and mistake, I cancel it over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, every mistake, every error, I cancel it over my destiny. Everything that will cause me to make bad decisions. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I receive the wisdom of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Every spirit of error is cancelled. Every spirit of mistake is cancelled. The mistake you have made, God will correct them for you. God will give you rest. And God will restore. In Jesus' name. 
you may have your seat so we can run off very quickly. Number four, how do you know you are experiencing and carrying favor? There will be opportunities to showcase your talents to kings and great men and women. See if that a man or woman diligent in his business or her business. They will start work. Before kings and not before common being average men. Please, your goal is to have, if you are making shoes, let the president bring my shoe. Let that you bring my shoe. When God blesses you, your hand work, your labor is not for common people. It's an embarrassment. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being honest. Do you know that somebody can walk into your store and buy everything? Why someone will come and see the price and say, how much is this one? $5. It's not $3. Ah, only give me $2 now. That is to annoy me. You go to buy it for like $3, go to Walmart and buy it. May go help us in Jesus' name. I'm not for $3 things. See, a man of God said something, Pastor NHL. He said one of the members of their church or somebody, the three of them, one, two, three, they sell the same thing. They sell what? They sell the same thing. He said it's only the most expensive out of all of them. There's no difference. Not that one is from China, one is from Japan, one is from Lagos. No. Everything the same. But the one in the middle is only is what? Most expensive. And people come to store to buy. So it's not about giving money, people are rebates. It has to be one dollar, two dollars. When God puts it on, you can say hundred dollars and who will buy it. You can say ten thousand dollars, who what? May God give you that kind of favor in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you are present with people too much, that's not your class. That's not what? It's not your class. No. If I'm selling, if I'm cooking food, if I'm a caterer, I'm making food, and you are pricing meat with me. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm not I know that that's not my class. There are people that if I give them meat 1,000, they will take it. And it's very possible. See, I went to I was in Dubai one time. See, there are different stores. Let me know that. So, yeah, I'm sorry I'm going to because I want you to explain that there's Gucci store. There's a money store. Let me know that. There's uh, which one? Is this uh, different ones. Fendi, oh boy, you know it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. There, there is uh, Faded Glory, there is um, Nautica. Shop at your level. If you go to a Gucci store, you can't be present with them now. Am I right? I saw one pound slippers that people make in a gigi. 3,000, I'm like, you mad. 3,000, you know how much? <laughs> you are giving these pound slippers. I mean, they call, you know what they call pound slippers. Just Google it, sorry. <laughs> oh, those <laughs> They are selling 3,000 dollars. For this rubbish, have you seen all people that are selling this Balenciaga? You will see their shoes. You will see what shoes is Five thousand dollars. But people see what they buy it. You can't go and be shouting. Go and buy where at your level. So when you are the people of God, you are Gucci, you are Balenciaga. That's your what. And then if you make tomato and put beef on it, as a, you say this five thousand. People will take it. They go and post just name. But in all seriousness. When you have the favor of God, God showcases your talent. You are not hidden. Every obscurity is removed in Jesus' name. Amen. You can't be in the wilderness and the place to shine when you don't come out and shine like David. When God gives you favor, you come to a point where your gift is demanded by everybody. Where your gift is demanded by the high and the mighty, even the low. May your gifts make way for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Father, Father, make way for me. Way for announce you. my giftings. Like Joseph, announce me. Announce my gifts. Announce my talents. Announce my shop. Announce my business. Announce my side gift. Announce my car. Announce those things that make me wire. Father, announce me. Announce my talents. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Number five. How do you have the favor of God? I will say something. It's called divine strategy. Divine what? When God wants to favor you, he gives you detailed instructions. How did David know to carry five smooth stones to go and attack a big giant like Goliath? That's like what I call what? Divine strategy. How did Esther know what to do? Look at Esther 4, 2 to 15. Divine strategy. How did Gideon choose 300 men out of the thousands of men that followed him to battle? What do you call it? Divine what? strategy. When God wants to bless you, he gives you instruction. If you are asking God for blessing, have you obeyed the last one he has given you? May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Elisha adding salt to water. They said the water is bitter. Who gave him the idea of adding salt? 
higher. That is what I call what? Divine strategy. That's because Second Kings 2, 19 to 20. Joshua going to fight Jericho and they walked around seven times and shouted and the wall came down. Who gave him that strategy? God. Divine strategy. Say, Father, give me divine strategy. Say one more time. Say, Father, give me divine strategy. This has been my prayer for the past couple of days. That I need strategy. I want to I want to do things. I want to do great things for you. Give me strategies, God. Give me instructions, ideas, concepts, insights. In the name of Jesus. Strategy, Lord. Show me what to do. Show me hidden of secret places. In Jesus' name. And finally, how do you know you are walking in favor? God will always fight for you. God will fight for you. Exodus 14, 14. He said, the Lord shall fight with me. And what will happen? I will hold my peace. I will read Joshua chapter 9 this morning. I'm in the book of Judges. There's a man named Gideon. They call him Jerubal. That's Judges chapter 9. Gideon fought. You know, God came to him and said, you mighty man of what? Of valor, you like me. This is the Midian that's attacking us. So God blessed Gideon. He fought. And after a while, he started having children from plenty of women. <laughs> he now went and had a child with his maid. You know, that child was Abimelech. Now, after Gideon died, I didn't let now with his mother's side of the family. He said, make me a king over you. He didn't go, you know, in my, like we say, King Shudu last song. He didn't go there with just like, make me a king. He went there with incantations. He went there with what? With charm. He said, make me a king over you. They said, okay, sure. He now went and killed who? All the children, apart from one person, of Gideon. He killed all three scores, almost 70 of them. He killed them by the stone. Abimelech was so wicked. So the last thing that escaped was Jotham. Jotham escaped. He now stayed on, on the tree and he cursed the um, Abinu. He said, from now on, the people that supported you to kill you by siblings, they will be against you and you will be against them too. After three years, after many years, years. after many years, years, they started fighting against each other. Abinu was fighting them, fighting them. They fought him. So one day, Abinu attacked them. Now went to a strong fort. And as I was trying to attack and enter to that force to have killed them, a woman threw a stone from where? <laughs> Ay, uh, embarrassing death. <laughs> a woman threw what? He said, he told his son to kill him that he does not want to be embarrassed by a woman. <laughs> that was that I'm the man strong man died by who? By one stone. <laughs> he, so he told the man said no, he can't kill too. Uh, the man after a while he bled and what? And he died, if I remember the story correctly. What am I trying to say? When you have the favor of God, God will fight for you. God will fight for you. Psalm 92 or so, he says the arrows by fly by day. Psalm 91. Do you see the arrows that fly by day? You don't see them, but you need God to fight for you. I was going to be this morning. I think it was our fifth service. I was listening to him. I was dressing up. He said some which is forgiven for you. That's what he said. You know the man is radical. I'm just quoting what he said. Uh, please do. <laughs> He says of witches, they will kill their first child. They will start crying for crocodile tears. They will kill their third child, they will be crying. He said when they will not want to die, they will not confess that what? That they killed. So you said the person will not but this man was crying during the funeral of what? Of the child. That how? That is the wickedness of the devil. So when you have the favor of God, the Lord fights for you. Say, Father, fight for me. Father, fight. Say again, say, Father, fight for me. May God fight for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'll just take, take two more. How to provoke favor? How do you provoke favor? How do you provoke favor? I'm hearing something in my spirit, and I'll say it by giving. By giving. The Bible says, Give. It shall what? It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Run over. It shall men give unto your bosom. It says, Shall God. Shall who? Shall who? So when God wants to bless you, he will move the heart of men to bless you. Have you ever seen that any time like that it's you, all these men of God walk by, somebody always draws something in their hand. It's a cloak, it's like a, you know, like when God tags you and puts favor on you that even if you pass by a place, if they are poor, they will give you something. See, they can even forego their father or their mother or their children and give that person the thing. That is what is called what? Favor. May God help us in Jesus' name. But you must be a man or woman that can give. Give, it shall what? It shall be given unto you. It shall be given unto you. 
May God help us in Jesus' name. I can go on to you, but you understand the concept of what? And number two, I said, be clean, pure, and righteous. Psalm 24, 3 to 6. Psalm 24, 3 to 6. Psalm 24, 3 to 6. He said, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand where? In his holy place. He that what? A clean hand and what? And pure heart. Who hath lifted up his soul unto where? Nor sworn deceitfully. Be clean. God does not favor the unrighteous. God only favors who? God only favors who? Say, Father. Say, please, please, please. Say, Father. This week, I will experience your favor. Say, Father. This week, I must experience your favor in the highest dimension possible. In the name of Jesus. Favor is real. Ladies and gentlemen, favor is what? Favor is real. Favor is real. And it must be made flesh. The word was made flesh with you. There's one time I was coming from Lagos. This is some time back now. I don't know. Last year or so. I don't know. And there was one pastor that knew my parents, or so he knows them. So we're in the lounge in Lagos together. We're just chilling. So after, the guy travels a lot. My own ticket was not first class. It was, um, you get now. Uh -huh. That line was so long. <laughs> this to enter the plane was not uh, the line. To enter the plane was long. But this man was carrying for class ticket. He said, Come with me. I said, Sir, I'm not in your level. Um, <laughs> the ticket I have is not. Uh, he said, Come with me. I followed him. He said, Please, this boy is with me. What did they do? Be going. Be going. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. What am I trying to say? You need to experience favor. Say, Father, stand to your feet. Say, Father. Father. There's more for because of time. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to experience your favor this week. Pray with all conviction. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will experience your favor this week. Money I did not work for will enter my account. Things I did not labor for will come to me. Children I did not labor for will come to me. Promotion I did not labor for will come to me. In the name of Jesus, I receive an increase of the favor of God. Father, take me to the highest pinnacle of favor. Where things come to me before I pray for it. Before I ask, Father, give it to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. If you are here, you have not given your life to Christ. Say, praise your and say, Father, have mercy on me, wherever you are. If you want to dedicate your life to Christ, say, Father, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Wash me in your precious blood. You know you can't play with sin and ask God for favor. It's not going to work. Say, Father, have mercy on me. Where are you at? Put your hand up. Forgive me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I don't even know you will experience favor this week. You are not convinced. I don't even know you will experience favor this week. Now shout, I take the favor of God. Say for yourself, I take the favor of God. We will share testimonies this week in Jesus' name. Shout, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.